back to another Goof Game Review. I'm Nikolai, and today I'll be filling in for Jacob to tell you about a game with an abysmal launch. No, I don't mean Battlefield, Anthem, Cyberpunk, Halo, Call of Duty, No Man's Sky, even Battlefront 2. Today's video is all about Fallout 76. Following the abysmal launch of the game in 2018, Bethesda quickly came under scrutiny and pressure from fans to improve the game. After four years and many updates later, I can say that the game is in a much better state than when it once was. Now I'm sure many of you had heard about the game when it first launched. It was miserable. There was little to actually do, no NPCs to interact with, and it was just dull. Since then, NPCs have returned to Appalachia and offer plenty of new quests and activities to partake in. I don't feel many people expected the game to last more than a year, but here we are four years later and the game is still receiving constant updates. The latest of which adds a new activity and mechanic called Expeditions. The only one currently available allows the player and a group of friends to travel to The Pit, which fans of Fallout 3 are sure to recognize. As I said, the game has come a long way from launch and has seen many improvements. For instance, the game doesn't crash every 3 seconds or every time you want to try to do a quest. I can personally say I stopped playing the game for almost a year after it kept crashing every time I tried to do the final exam for the fire breathers. I have since been able to complete that quest on two separate characters and many, many more. The game now runs as smoothly as a Bethesda game can with the occasional server crash, but few game breaking bugs or glitches. Another big issue and concern that people found from the game was the multiplayer aspect. Many did not wish for the game to be multiplayer and would rather play alone. The game still does not have an official single player mode, however it does not at all punish those who wish to go at it alone. Every quest can be completed alone and solo players are not held back or hindered in any way. You do not have to even interact with other players if you don't want to. Along with the single player improvements, the game also saw significant multiplayer improvements. Server wide lag is incredibly rare and the map can easily support a full server of 24 people with little trouble despite how large the map is. Other gameplay improvements have been in the form of constant free DLC. As I said before, The Pit is the latest DLC to be added, but before then we've also seen the additions of being able to join raider gangs, settlers, or even the Brotherhood of Steel. The game now feels alive with countless new quests, items, and many new characters to interact with that all add depth to the world. Besides current and past DLC, Bethesda has made it clear they will not stop producing content for the game for years to come. With the introduction of competitive seasons and a battle pass aspect, longtime players have no reason to stop playing the game. New DLC is being worked on as Bethesda has been bringing on new developers to help make content, and they have even talked about a plan to keep the game going and continue bringing updates for a minimum of 5 more years and maybe even more. Besides the improvements and things to come, I would like to give my thoughts on the game. I played the game at launch and it was terrible. It crashed all the time and I couldn't even complete the mainline quest because it would crash at the same spot every time. I have played on and off again since the Wastelanders update and I have had plenty of fun by myself or with friends. There is no shortage of things to do, whether it be completing quests, messing around with building your camp, or simply exploring the map. If I've learned one thing about Bethesda, they can world build like few other developers. The map is massive with plenty of places to explore. The world is also beautiful and there's lore about nearly every location, whether it be about settlers being attacked or a missing persons case from before the war. There is no lack of story in Appalachia. Bethesda also did a relatively decent job of recreating some iconic locations within the state. Granted, they took their liberties in some areas, but they were sure to keep the essential structures in some iteration or another, and add plenty of new landmarks and structures. Of course, it wouldn't be a Fallout game without the highlight of Wandering the Waste, the iconic radio filled with plenty of amazing songs from the 40s and 50s, and of course, the song that made the game a cover of the ever popular Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. I feel the game has improved immensely and is looking like an RPG that fans can enjoy and love. I recommend that those who dropped the game or skipped out on it due to its launch pick it up and try it out. So, what did you think of Fallout 76? Have you revisited it? Do you think it's worth it? Either way, let me know by tweeting me your thoughts at ZTV Goofing Off. 
I'm Nikolai, and thanks for watching.